Good morning, let's take a look at an <coughs> exponent loss problem. So if you see this one, the line being divided, so we go to divide 85 by 15. So I'm going to use my calculator, 85 divided by 15. I'm going to get 17 over 3. Since that's a fraction, <coughs> I cannot reduce anymore, so I'm going to give us 17 over 3. The next variable I'm looking at is a, so I'm going to write a, okay, a. I'm going to subtract 6 <coughs> minus 9, 6 subtract 9 give you negative 3, okay, and then b, next letter is b, I'm going to subtract 3 by 6, 3 minus 6 is negative 3 again, and the next letter is c, c to the power of 2, Subtract 2, 2 minus 2 is 0. So now we have our exponential exponents like this. We have to consider which one have the negative exponents or the negative power. You cannot have negative power, so if you see it, you must move it to the other side. Okay? In other words, I have, I'm going to move a to the negative 3 and b to the negative 3 to the opposite side of the fraction. I'm going to keep 17 over 3 because we don't do anything with the exponent, I mean the um, coefficient. So this one I'm going to move it down, move it down and make it positive, okay? I'm going to take it a to the power of 3, b to the power of 3. Now c to the 0 is gone. It's just 1. It just equals 1. So 1 we don't even have to write like time 1 right here. So. Your final answer is just 17 over 3, a to the power of 3, b to the power of 3. Everything with the positive power. We good? All right. Let's take a look at the more complicated problem. This one, the longer size up on the top. So I'm going to work with the top part first. I'm seeing the parentheses mean multiplying. So I'm going to multiply first the coefficient. 4 times 3 give you 12. Okay, 4 times 3 gives you 12. A, I'm going to take a look at the A. A to the power of 5 times A to the power of 6. When you multiply same basis, you add the exponent or you add the power together. So I'm going to have A to the power of 5 plus 6 is 11. There you go. And then B to the power of 3 times B. It's just B to the power of 4. I'm adding the B together. You have nothing, you put a 1, that's why. Now C, I have nothing, I put that's a 1. That's a C to the power of 1. Times C to the power of 4, I add the powers. 4 plus 1 is 5. <coughs> now let's move on to the bottom part. I'm going to copy exactly the same thing because that's what I'm, I'm keeping. B to the power of 6, C to the power of 9, D to the power of 7. And then from now on, it's become the problem that we know how to do, like just dividing problem, okay? So that means we're going to divide 12 divided by 6. If you're not sure, you use a calculator to check, and this will give you 2. Um, in the bottom, I have nothing again, so I'm going to put that as a 1. A to the power of 11 divided by A to the power of 9. When you divide some basis, you subtract the power. Top to bottom, 11 minus 6 give you, I mean, 11 minus uh, 9 give you 2. So I'm going to rewrite A to the power of 2. Okay, so A is gone. B to the power of 4 divided by B to the power of 6. It's just B to the power of 4 minus 6 is negative 2. Alright, c to the power of 5 divided by c to the 9. c to the power of 9, 5 minus 9 is negative 4. Okay, c is gone, b is gone. The only variable left is d to the 7, and it's positive power, so I'm going to keep it at the bottom right here. d to the power of 7. <coughs> now, one last step is to move whatever is negative, which is the b and the c right here. So I'm going to keep the um, the coefficient 2 over 1. a to the power of 2 is positive, so I keep there. b to the negative 2 and c to the negative 4 will be moved to the bottom. So then again, I'm going to keep d to the power of 7. 
is, is already there b to the power of 2 and c to the power of 4 I'm moving it down and make it positive so my final answer 2a to the power of 2 divided by 1d to the power of 7 b to the power of 2 c to the power of 4 everything positive we got last problem if you want to pause the video and start on your own um, that would be great okay okay on this problem I want to see that um, I'm going to work with the longer part first so which mean the bottom part right here I'm going to rewrite first I'm going to multiply 25 by 3 I get 75 and then I'm going to look at the X I'm going to add the power because they're on the same side and multiply to each other so I'm going to add the power 3 plus 1 give you 4 okay now the letter Y y to the power of 1 times y to the power of 5 I'm adding the exponent 1 plus 5 is 6 z to the power of 2 times z to the 7 I'm adding the power again 2 plus 6 I mean 2 to plus 7 give you 9 okay on the top I'm going to keep them exactly the same 100 x to the power of 6 y to the power of 10 z to the power of 4 okay so now it's become the problem that we know how to do very well so first we divide 100 by 75 right so let's go ahead divide 100 divided by 75 I have 4 over 3 so I'm keeping the uh, coefficient exactly the same 4 over 3 now let's move on to the x <coughs> They are on the opposite side, so I'm going to subtract top to bottom. x to the power of 6 minus 4 is um, 2. Okay. y to the power of 10 divided by y to the 6. I'm going to subtract top to bottom. Keep the y. 10 minus 6 gives you 4. z to the 4 divided by z to the 9. I have z to the power of 4 minus 9 is negative 5. And last but not least I'm moving whatever is negative which is the z to the negative 5 right here I'm going to move it to the other side of fraction which is moving down okay so let me rewrite this 4 over 3 I'm going to keep them exactly the same we never ever move or change the coefficient x to the power of 2 is positive y to the power of 4 is positive only this one is the one we need to move down and make it positive. Z to the power of positive 5. My final answer. Okay, if you have any questions still, um, be sure to rework the problem again and ask questions in class. Alright, I hope you study well guys. I love you. Bye-bye.